Hello, everybody. Mike from Southern California again, and you're on the mic. On today's um, episode, we did get a bit of news yesterday that on Wednesday, um, Sean Lemoyne's um, motion to dismiss Vic Mignogna's appeal of, of the defamation ruling by Judge Shub has been denied. What that means is that the appeals is moving forward. Appeals are, in fact, approved. They are moving forward. Now, about a week or so ago on um, one of Nick's streams, you know, I, want, I, asked, I asked him this. Well, what exactly would, they, would the appeals court be considering? And there's a lot of because there's a lot of conjecture as to what exactly they now according now I take Nick's um, word over anybody else's because one he is yeah and yeah and people argue there are people on my Twitter as well but lawyers on but one he's a lawyer and two he's been stu he's studied the TCPA he's looked it over and studied it enough to where I would I would take him over being an expert over anybody else on on law Twitter. Okay, um, and he's shown evidence that you know things have have you know about just how confused and when he's wrong, he's admitted that he's wrong. But I asked him about okay, so what would they actually be considering? They will, of course, submit the clerk's record, the court clerk's you know record of the hearing. Plus, anything that Ty wish, apparently Ty will be allowed to submit things that he was not allowed to submit or be reviewed during the hearing. Namely, the big binder that we all keep hearing about that the judge had not ruled on. The judge had, the judge had not ruled on the binder. He just said he wasn't going to look at it. Ty can submit that as part of the appeals paperwork. And they can consider that. So the big news coming out of all this is that the appeals are approved. They're moving forward. Now it's just another matter of time. You know, Law Twitter, Kick Vic, they're trying to spin theirs and saying, no, no, no. You know, no, that he can't submit anything new. He can't submit it. You know, well, he's not submitting anything new. He's submitting things that were not. A, that were not be, that Judge Shup had refused to look at. There are things that should have been in the record already, but J Judge Shup would not review them. Did not want to look at them. So that's the gist of, of it. So that's the update here for Vic's court case. Uh, and I remind everybody, and I stand with Vic again. Tighten your seatbelts because you know Kick Vic is going to going to be on the attack here. They're a bunch of lying, evil individuals who, who all deserve to burn in hell. Every last one of them. So, with that being said, let's move on to some happier stuff. On this day in history. Okay. First up, I'm I'm gonna make it real short today because I I've been busy today, so I've had some other stuff going on, so I have to make this kind of short. Um, happy birthday to Tensai Okamura, who turns fifty. Is on this date back in 1961, Tensai Okamura came into this world. He was born in this world. He's 58 years old today. Tensai Okamura is a Japanese anime director and animator who has been involved, in, his works involved include the key animator on, um, on Blue Seed. He was an episode director, storyboard, and key animator in Neon Genesis and Vagellon. He did the storyboards for Cowboy Bebop. And he was a director, episode director, and storyboard artist for 
Metabots. So that was on this date in 1961. And then on this date in 1989, on this date in 1989, WCW, which was operating under the National Wrestling Alliance um, banner, at the time, that, oh, actually it was still called Jim Crockett, Jim Crockett Promotions, which eventually became World Championship Wrestling, um, operating under the, the National Wrestling Alliance banner, uh, put on Starcade 89 on this date. On this date in 1989, Starcade 89, which was a round, which they held a pair of round robin tournaments, one a singles round robin tournament and a tag team round robin tournament. The singles ra round robin tournament was called the Iron Man tournament. And then, the, of course, the tag team one was the, the Iron Team tournament. It was a round robin point based system, point based um, system where at the point system was like this: you got 20 points for a pinfall or submission victory, 15 for a count out victory, 10 for a disqualification victory, five for a time limit draw, and no points for a loss. The respective winners of the of the um, the respective winners of the tournaments, Sting won the Iron Man tournament. And road, the Road Warriors um, won the Iron Team tournament. So Sting fended off the challenges of Lex Luger, Ric Flair, and Great Muda to win the Iron Man tournament. And then Road Warriors fended off the challenges of the Steiner Brothers, um, a new Wild Samoans, and Doom. Um, Doom, who had, um, who at the time was still under the management of woman, of course, um, so fended off there to, to win the Iron Team tournament. Well, that's what happened on this date in 1989. There's a couple of quick little interesting tidbits. And with that being said, you can always check the links below. You can always, you know. Um, you can contact me by you can either DM me on on Twitter or you can comment on my tweets or videos. I usually will comment back. Um, also, um, because I enjoy the comments, I enjoy the back and forth a lot of times. Um, also, you check the link below. There's a bunch of different dub companies I I'm promoting. Because remember, no, Funimation is not the only game in town, folks. And you know there are other there's other companies you can support. There's other dub companies you can support. There's other voice actors you can support. You know you have to always remember, guys, that if there's a particular voice actor that you want to meet at your con, all you have to do is contact your local con and just very politely and respectfully ask them to invite them to their cons. That's it. Don't forget as well that Vic Mignana and Todd Havercorn will be at SonoCon this weekend in Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama. Um, also, um, I'm still promoting the GoFundMe's of Vic and the of Lisa Ortiz's family. Um, as always, guys, never feel like you have to donate. Sure, they appreciate it, but but if it's not within your means today, understand. If you if it is within you if you do have the means to and it's on your heart to do so please consider donating. If you've already donated please consider donating again. And um, if you cannot donate you can still help out the cause by sharing the link. You, you never know sharing is caring, and with you know with all with all that you guys um, know. Um, With all that you guys know, um, let's see, okay, um, yeah, but sharing is caring. You know, you never know if you, you know, all, you know, maybe there's somebody in your circle of friends who, um, who will look at and say, oh yeah, you know, 
he's getting the short end of the stick here. And especially with the peels, you know, peels will get costly too the longer it drags out. So, um, but with that, and if you like this content, please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, um, and hitting the notification bell. Um, always look forward to the conversation with you guys, you know, um, and hopefully I'll see you tonight at the premiere of Voices Big and Small, Richard Ian Cox. If I don't, I'll see you on Monday. Don't forget this weekend, if you're in Alabama, particularly in Mo Montgomery, Alabama, Vic Mignana and um, Todd Habercorn will be at SonoCon. So don't forget to go say hi to them. Hopefully I'll see you guys in, in a little while for, for Voices Big and Small. If I don't, I'll see you on Monday. Bye.